Our story continues. We've just created and pushed to our GitHub that we can make a display manager. We can add a display manager and activate Lightium Budgie and all that. So we're, we're working on it. So this is our thing. This is what we created until now. And the first thing I'm going to do, because I hate the look, is install variety. This is not a nice wallpaper. Well, it's nice, but if you've installed as many installations as I have, you are tired of looking at the same thing. So, um, what do we do? We just click here and we say termite install me variety. Can we back manage? Manage? You just try and you see. It says it's there with its roots. And if it isn't, then you go to the packer or packer or yaourt, meaning you go to the Arch user repository. So yes, get it while it's hot. So variety is installed. Let's run it. So I have a nicer wallpaper in my future tutorials. Continue. No thanks. You can follow along what I do. Every five minutes is okay. Um, I do not want the standard ones. So the standard from XFC and from Budgie and GNOME. And I do want that one being is uh, and unsplash is blah and iPod and uh, Flickr done. That's it. That's all I want. And then I also want to have our pick at least 80% of my screen resolution. And then blah, blah, blah. And let's get ahead and have something nicer to be. Isn't that better to make tutorials on? So that's one thing we've done. And then you say, oh, next time when I'm going to install it, I have to write that all again. I have to type that all again in. So I'm going to write it somewhere. This is the one for me. This is your personal one. And we say, oh yeah, wouldn't it be nice if we had a script installing wallpapers, icons, themes, and all that. Um, how do we will call, how will we call it? We could call it, and then you go look and find ourselves a nice name. And we have already made these things here as well. We've called it here Software Arch Linux and Software AUR Repo. So I've made two divisions because this one is Pac-Man and this is Packer. But no need to follow my uh, thing. So we were thinking on lines off. Why not make a theming? script and the theming script goes as follows ctrl c ctrl v and you give it a number any number you want so you know you start with 100 and then 110 and 120 and 200 and so on so it's up to you um i'm gonna give it 400 because 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 i stopped at 300 here and that's why it's a stupid idea anyway it's gonna be theming i could call it anything i want so 400 theming version one and we are going to tell them to install a variety that's what we just typed into the terminal that's it we've made our script but then you go ahead and you say hmm uh, let's put this one there no no it's no not a quarter we get the half of our screen and then we can go like this. This is our terminal. This is our script. And here it is. And then you go right at and you say uh, it would be nice if we would have an arc theme. So to go Pacman minus S arc something. I don't know. Is there an arc GTK theme or I see one here. Here's an arc GTK theme. Okay. So GTK theme. Eric. Okay, enter. Okay, seems to work. So I say, I, or I type it like this, or you type it behind it. What I tend to do is type it alphabetically, so uh, it's easy to find again if you're looking for it. So it has to be exact, of course. Uh, Arc GTK team, no typos allowed, like so. So if we really want to have it on. Alphabetically, I'm going to put it here like so. This was a leftover from another uh, script. So here we're going to install echo. All the theming goes in here. 
that's the text it's gonna show and close save okay great so gtk is installed uh, it does not show it yet let's quickly change it uh, if we can if we can if we can let me think is there a tweak tool installed already or not we have this we have that and then we have the icons and we have the art dark i like this look much better than the other one but i'll do like the art uh, dwight art dark as well as you can see it's nice black but let's keep the the one we just installed there are no icons there are icons sure there are icons but there are no icons so okay let's install some icons of course you know what i'm gonna do packet sorry icons there are lots of icons there i want my zero and then space and i also like the one with mono let's think mono papyrus that's the one i like number three so zero and three and install me these things yep go for it you can't use um any of the art or other uh, icons without the sadly icons the sadly icons is the core and everything is derived from it and built upon it to spare us some megabytes so yeah we need to set the icons 9.36 at this point in time and then you can add more things like i did number three okay that's gonna be installed i can work here already why can i work i get could put everything in a theme and i could say you know what okay no you know what i'm gonna put everything let's say yes here I'm gonna put all my this is the Pac-Man installation and this is the AUR installation because Sardi is coming from here Sardi I guess that's the one I still remember, and this one I really should copy paste. Control Shift C, Control V. So that's the one we're gonna install, and then we save it. So this is now becoming a little bit a script, and we can run this thing, number 400, and as you can see, nothing happens nothing there nothing there why ls we are not inside the folder we're not inside here what did i do i just pressed here so we're on our home folder present working directory is the home folder so we really should press right mouse click here open in terminal and then you can ask i oh, yeah, i'm inside it and we can run 400 and it's going to look at the text. All the theming goes in here. Pac-Man installation. Okay, fine. Enter. And it's going to reinstall. But we had an option for that. We found out that if we open it with no confirm needed, then it's not going to be reinstalled. When making scripts, that's quite handy. So I'm going to put that back there, like so. And save. And okay that can close let's say no Control c let's retry and he's skipping these two see all theming is done and the question is now is this safe let's save it because where is my packer there is all the theming goes in here aur installation but what's happening so let's try again it doesn't do anything this packer thing here so let's go and head and say okay forget about this that is a mistake you have to put two lines eric okay let's do it like so and then it says do you want to start the icons uh yes so number zero but also in the 
start the eye in the packer, we can do some things here. Control C, Control C, please. Man packer. And we can do a search, install, show, and ignore. And no confirm. Hmm. Okay. So this applies there as well. Almost. The no confirm, we can copy paste. No confirm. And the other one we need is the no edit. And we're only doing this because we don't want to enter yes, yes, no, no all the time and be sure that everything is installed when we walk away from our system and I say we're installed already and I'll come back and everything is installed. So we've told him to install without confirmation, so yes, and no editing, we won't take a look at the code, at this build code. We trust everything works. And let's wait. We still have an, an issue here. It says packer savvy, I guess, no confirm. Let's see, control C and control C. What did I do wrong? Control save. Correct, savvy icons, no confirm, no edit. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I guess, I guess, I'm guessing, wait a moment. Let me check first. Okay, I've checked. What did I change? I added minus s to it. Um, if you can see, we should make it a little bit bigger actually. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, bigger. Not small. 14. Okay, better already. So I've added packer minus s. That's what I was missing. And if we run it now, it's just going to go over and reinstall Safi I guess we can't do a uh, needed in here that's not possible there's no needed for uh, man packer unfortunately quick check or only then skip skip integers integrity is also interesting to know from time to time they forget to update their nd5 some everything works fine but just forgot to do that and that's a human thing to do and you can skip the integrity check There will people, we people will say, don't do that. Uh, you don't have an, an idea what's going on on your machine. Well, it depends on what machine you are. But if you're testing, it's okay. Um, that's done. We have our icons uh, available. So uh, let's have a look. We have our, let's go another way. Let's search another way to get into the settings. That's the GNOME settings, Eric. We don't need the GNOME settings. Is there another way to get into budgie settings? Uh -huh. Not really. Utilities. No. Is there really no other way? Sure. These are the GNOME settings, which I do not want. I want the budgie settings, and they are here. In the Raven panel, you know, here, this is the budgie desktop setting. I think it's the only way to get here. So we have our icons and I installed an extra one because of this one. I really am fond of this icon set. Let's make it a bit smaller because of the yellow color. Like so, I do like it. But that's also temporary. I mean, you have to change your icons all the time. Otherwise it gets boring. I don't have my cursor yet, my GNOME breeze snow cursor so we could install that one as well and where is that well first off i have to find out the name so i don't know packer i remember something about snow snowball snowflake a lot of snow stuff so you don't know the name and the list is a bit longer it's even not in here so uh, yeah, it is in here breeze snow cursor theme we found it seven enter so some names you will have to remember and you say no or fail downloading ah yeah, yeah this this is an, a thing that has been expired but there is another one which is called i think x cursor 
oh, lots of X cursors, but the breeze one. Community, community, X cursor, no mix this one. I guess it's this one, X cursor breeze. So let's copy paste this because this, this thing, control shift C, needs to get in here. Packer minus S, control V, save, save for next time. So we can either use a script now or use this Packer thing. So I'll say new, let's go do the scripts, let's test it. And there is no such file again, Eric. Why? Because we are in here, right mouse click, open in terminal. Where are we? We are in the right directory and run 400. Again, it's going to skip a lot of things, but yeah, the Packer things, they will be executed since there is no needed. Right? So we'll have to wait for that to, to work. Or you say, whatever, I don't have the time for it. X, control C, control C. And then you say proceed with installation. Ah, now we are at X server. And why is he asking to proceed? Because I forgot to copy paste. Control C, control V, one space too much, save. So if we're gonna control C this thing, and then control C here, control shift. V. If we type all of this packer minus x x cursor breeze no confirm no needed, it'll just do its thing. No edit, I mean. And there we go. Let's have a look. We are now already fine tuning our system. Why? Because I hate looking at an ugly screen. And now we have this cursor and that cursor. And as you saw, there are lots of cursors to install. So keep up and then find out what other cursors there are and install them. Use your scripting or not. Um, anyway, I'm going to push it back to the online version here. So this is my online version. There's nothing here. Let's refresh. Nothing here about number 400. So I'm afraid I won't have it on my system next time. So I'll have to make a backup and say get this thing so push it to the net and then you say uh what did we do we did sardi we did surfen and we did the x cursor no that's it done another tutorial another exercise in how to make scripts and how easy it is and how how quickly we have actually a nice beautiful uh, system here with a few themes a few icons we have already a nice look and um, that concludes this tutorial <laughs>